before you, you have the new and improved Martin Hall reopening after its 14-month refurbishment. The front has changed and the inside too. We've got a great uh, accessibility ramp at the front to provide ADA access to the beginning uh, to the building. And we'll be heading up into the lobby to show you some of the new improvements. A lot of activity going on as we approach move-in. We've got micro fridges getting delivered. So it's a work in progress all the way up until the first day of move-in next week. Landscaping's been updated and even our memorial uh, signage has been moved to highlight the front of the building. We still have some exterior seating that will add a great community space at the front on our porch. As you walk in, you'll be amazed by the new atrium. Front desk operation is going to be a hub of activity. Some digital signage to make announcements. As you look up uh, over to our left is the hall director office with a great vantage point to see what's going on in his lobby to check out, uh, connect with students. As we look up, we've got a cutout. If you're an old Martin resident, you'll remember that this was not there. This is brand new and uh, provides a, a great opening reception to the building. As we walk deeper into the lobby, we've got some great social space for students. Starting with our game room area with a brand new ping pong table and shuffleboard table. And just to add a little bit of flair, we've got a vintage video game console. So stop by and play some Frogger or Miss Pac-Man. Or if you're a Galaga expert, this is the place to be. We go back to the back, we've got a large community kitchen and sitting area. Hey. Students will be able to cook meals together, hang out, enjoy a cup of ramen or bake some cookies if you want. We've got two TVs for game days and watching your favorite TV show. With any refurbishment, we add a couple different things, and one of those is space for spiritual development. So as we walk down the hall, we'll be passing the chaplain's apartment if you want to connect with the, the resident chaplain. And we've got the uh, reflection room. Great place for a, a quiet moment of reading your Bible or having a devotional or having a discussion about your favorite Bible verse. One of the nice uh, additions to Martin is that we added a faculty and resident apartment. Dr. Clay Butler will be the, uh, our inaugural faculty and resident, and his apartment is through that door and to the left, along with the hall director uh, office, or um, apartment. We go up to the third floor, we'll check out some of the community space and definitely a new and improved resident room. One of the most exciting parts of a refurb is being able to improve the lighting. We were able to cut out these study lounges 
uh, in the corners, which allows for natural light to come down the hall. The, the old dark hallways of Martin before are no more. With improved ceiling light and natural light down the corridors, it'll be a welcoming place for students to live, study, and hang out. So let's check out a student room. Now the footprint of the room may have stayed the same, but that's about all that it is. It's going to be a great place with all new furniture, new flooring, new paint, new ceiling light, a great new fixture with storage space underneath the sink. The furniture allows for maximum flexibility. The beds can be raised or lowered. Furniture can be moved depending on how you and your roommate want to arrange the furniture. The dresser and pedestal are on wheels for EV movement and each has a pull-out tray so you can have stuff on your desk and still have space for your laptop. And this room in particular has a great view of the silos. And one thing that people always need is the bathroom facilities, which have gotten a significant upgrade. Individual stalls for toilet and shower allows for privacy and space to take care of personal hygiene. Let's head down to the center of the building and we'll get to look down into the lobby. Each floor has got community leaders on the floor, so if you ever need a little bit of help or guidance or just want to hang out with someone, community leader will be there uh, in nearby. More study space, great room for group. Uh, study sessions or uh, soft seating for hanging out. Can't beat all this natural light coming into the building. Check out the view into the atrium. Get to see what your friends are doing and be able to stay connected to all the life on all the life in the building. Hallways are uh, outfitted with occupancy sensors to conserve electricity. So as you walk down the hall, the lights will come on. But at night, when everyone's asleep, if they ever go to sleep, the lights will turn off. So let's go down to the first floor and see what's going on down there. So first floor we'll be finding our uh, laundry facilities and, and a unique lounge in the back of the, in the, near the laundry. So here we have more rooms if you're uh, familiar with Martin from a couple years ago, there used to be a green and gold gym that's been removed and new rooms put in its place. Now we have a great hallway uh, connecting to, to the laundry facilities. Closet space for students, flexible, flexible furniture, And here 
is the building laundry facilities. Laundry is included, so no need to stock up on quarters or swipe to pay for laundry. Easy for you to do your laundry yourself without taking it home on the weekends. And while you're waiting for laundry, there's a great lounge nearby that you can hang out in. So let's head there, there. let's head there now. As with any student space, the furniture can get a little bit disarrayed, but that's understandable. But this is a great lounge because it's got two TVs, easy place for students to game or watch uh, two football games at the same time, whatever they want to do. This room uh, has a great option for it. Of course, the furniture is movable, as you can see, so they can rearrange it depending on what they're doing. So that about covers it. I hope that you're excited about coming. We're excited about you being here. And this will be uh, the first year uh, for Martin reopening after its 15-month uh, refurbishment. And we're excited that it's complete.